As we are approaching Halloween, what better way to have some fun than to do some cupcake decorating? And I am here at Country Kitchen Sweet Art with Mindy Lambright, who is the general manager. Hi, Mindy. Hi, good to see you today. You too. Okay, so you all do your open cupcake classes, yes. which is so much fun, and it, it gives an opportunity for people to come in and make the cupcakes, mm -hmm. or decorate rather, the cupcakes that we're going to be doing today. Exactly. But I wanted to learn a little bit about you and your passion for cupcake decorating. Oh. Oh, absolutely. Um, I've been here actually this week is my 50th anniversary with Country 15. Kitchen. Oh yeah, and this was something I love to do cupcake and cake decorating, candy making before I worked here. Mm -hmm. um, so this was my dream job and Aww. I just, it's a wonderful place to be and it's everything you kind of imagine. It's just super creative and you work with people that are creative like that and just get to be inspired by each other and get to inspire the public. So right. what's better than that? I love that. I'll say it was a sweet job. It is a very sweet so job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, I'm so excited to learn some new designs today. Absolutely. I always feel like you all are so creative and so trendy and yeah. it looks so cool, but then doing it, it's like, wow, I accomplished something. Absolutely. So you all can accomplish this too. Absolutely, all yeah. Right. That's our goal is to be able to put the right tools in the people's hands and the right instruction for them to feel successful too. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's do it. Okay. So All first right. up, we're going to make the RIP. Yeah. Cupcake. Where should we start? Absolutely. We're going to start with our dark chocolate buttercream in the piping bag. Mm -hmm. And this is my uh, most exciting way to be able to do a uh, cupcake decorating because it's just really simple. You're going to start on the outside edge, mm -hmm. straight up and down just above, kind of give it a swirl around and bring it right to the middle. Um, and then, of course, you've got your traditional kind of bakery swirl, but we're going to do the flip and smush method, okay. where you have a little bit of black sanding sugar, flip it over, and just kind of give it a little roll, and that covers it perfectly, and then it looks like a perfectly iced cupcake. Nice. Yeah, Isn't that perfect? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Then we're going to put these cool little tombstones that we made. We've got a 3D printer that we made a cutout and a little impression thing. Cute. And we've got an edible marker that you can add whatever little writing on it. Oh, Don't use real okay. markers at home, kids, oh, yes. but these are with food color <laughs> ink. These are edible markers. And then you can add whatever witty uh, saying that you want on there. We're just going to put rest in peace. And then we can take and stick that right into our cupcake. All right. And I'll put it just kind of a little bit to the back. And then we've got a piping tip that has a grass tip in it that we're going to do a little bit of grass. Um, this one's a little tricky. Oh. Get right above the okay. surface, give it a squeeze, let it attach, and then kind of pull up, stop mm. squeezing, and pull away. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of give it a little squeeze, pull up, and then pull away. You can add as much grass or as little as you like. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Just give it a little squeeze and lift on up. Nice. There you go. And you know what? We can cover that with the bones then too if we ever have a spot that we don't like. Yep. There you go. And then we've got these cool little candy bones that we're going to take and you can either stick them down into the dirt around it, give it the little spooky look. You can stick it into the grass. And you kind of just set them wherever you want. You want to stick them in enough that they kind of stick in the icing below. Okay. So yeah, just a fun little way to be able to make a fun little cupcake. How cute. Right there. Nice, All well right. done, Yay. super cute, Look yeah. Look at that. Oh, I got one more bone. Oh yeah. I need all my Losing bones. Losing your bones. All right, let's hold it up. Yeah, perfect. So cute, I love it, and so easy. Yeah, And so absolutely. this is so fun, you can do with your whole family. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah for All sure. Right. On to the next. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, that RIP was fun, but yeah. next, I like these brains. Yes, isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah. Not too scary, but just creepy enough, right. absolutely. All right, where should we start? All right, we're gonna take our piping bag again. Okay. Again, another really easy way to add your icing to your cupcake without worrying about spreading. Again, we can start on the outside edge if you like. Okay. Work your way to the middle. Like you always use like a pastry <laughs> knife to spread it on, but this is a really nice way to get it on there. But now we want to make a smooth surface and we've got this product called Cake Cloth. It's cut in a small piece. If you hold it tight on each side and just kind of tap it down, this will smooth out your buttercream perfectly. And what's really nice, you don't have to wait for your buttercream to crust to uh -huh. smooth it out. 
Um, we even use this in kids' class, and you can smooth it out to like absolutely perfect smoothness oh. the more time you take. This um, is an absolute game changer in cake decorating in general. So it this is. is probably my hands down favorite product. So we piped it, it on, and now you can see it's here. I'm going to give you mine. Oh, my, yeah, mine's no. a little. Because you're strong. You're pushing in a little oh, bit too, too much. Yep, yeah, just real <laughs> okay. gentle. Perfect. And I'll give you a key. Whenever you have a spot that you don't absolutely love, mm -hmm. the magic of it is you turn it around mm -hmm. and you never tell anybody to look at it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That's great. Okay. Awesome. That's great. Okay. And then the other bag, it's got the same color buttercream, but it's got a small decorating tip to it. Okay. And if you're going to kind of follow along with that image, we're just going to start from one side to the other, do two lines. The key is keep it just above the cupcake and lift it up and kind of let the icing fall into place as opposed to trying to draw a straight line. And when you're done, stop squeezing, touch down, it will release. Okay. And do another one right next to it. Lift it up, kind of let it fall into place. When you're finished, stop squeezing, touch down, and fall into place. And don't worry about those little bits as they kind of dry, you can just take and touch them down. Okay, so same thing with the squigglies. You're going to start squeezing, let it kind of fall into place. We're gonna give it a little squiggle wiggle. When you're finished, touch down, and you're going to do that just two squiggles on both sides. And you can kind of turn the cupcake and adjust as you need to. Perfect. Learn some things here. Absolutely. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to make it a little gory. Okay. So we've got some edible food paint here. Uh -huh. um, this one's nice. All you have to do is shake and use it. We're going to take a paintbrush, just dip just the brush down into it, and then the technique, really, really difficult here. Mm -hmm. You hold it just above and you tap it on your finger. Okay. And I'll give kind of like a little splatter effect. So the more paint you use, mm -hmm. the more splatter you're going to get to it. Just a little bit. Set that there. And then split a splat split. A little bit more paint. Perfect. Another way we do it is actually we use a toothbrush that's only been used in here. <laughs> and we can use it to kind of flick on top of it too. It's fun trying to find just different types of techniques. Oh, oh here we go. Flicking. I'll help you with your blood splatter. How about that? Got to kind of own it. Oh, you know what? We're getting really fine splatters here. That's okay. Yours is just the level down from being gory. We'll just let mine be a little <laughs> bit I more paint gory. It? You is sure can. Option? Absolutely. Just go real light on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, just touch dots. That'd be perfect. Yeah, we gotta get the blood on the brain. Absolutely. <laughs> You know, that's what kind of what we do in classes too. It's not a, this is the only technique in that. We like to learn from them and find different ways to be able to decorate it and kind of make it your own as well. Mm. Nice. Ooh, gotta put the sound effects with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to add some creepy music along with the segment. Right. Cue music. Nice. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> Perfect. All right. You got some brains. You got some great <laughs> brains. Well done. Lots All of brains right. behind that one. Let's hold it up. Awesome. Brains Perfect. complete. Perfect. And we'll be right back after the break. 